everybody. So today we have here, this is the A1708 2017 MacBook Pro. And it's turning on, it's working here. The keyboard doesn't work whenever you type anything, but uh, the trackpad does work. Whenever you do use it, you can click, you can move around. Oops, I think I turned it off there, restarted or something. Or went to the guest mode, I think. But it does work if you use one of these. This is an external keyboard. If you plug it in, it works totally fine. So it's not really a software issue. It looks to be more of a hardware issue. So we're going to be looking into that today and see really what uh, the issue is for it. All right, so let's go ahead and open it up. Let's see if there's anything. And we immediately we can spot something pretty obvious as far as I could zoom in, at least on this camera. See those red spots down here? Uh, that usually means that there's some type of liquid damage and you can see a little bit of a spot on the trackpad cable. Now the cable is working and I don't see any obvious corrosion just by the, on the top by looking at this, but we do see that this has mainly been impacted here. Um, and I believe the keyboard connection is on this side. I think it goes under here and then it connects directly to the board this way. So we see the trackpad connection. We want to make sure because we can see that there's a little bit of damage here. Maybe there's a problem actually with the trackpad itself. In some, in, in some cases, even though the trackpad is working, um, if there's any corrosion or if you have a problem with this cable, it, it, it could be damaged and you could have a, a malfunctioning um, keyboard as well. So if you unplug this, you might have problems with that with the keyboard and the trackpad not working at the same time. But since we see that's a damage and this is kind of more the easiest um, uh, route to go first because before we open up the board or anything, we'll see if there's anything else there. But this is obviously there's been some impact there. You can even see on the left side where my thumb is that there's been an impact there as well. And let's see, I'm sure if we look at the bottom cover, we can see, yep, you can see this is a perfect outline of it. So the trackpad obviously is here, and we're going to go ahead and check a look at that first because it's the most obvious thing. So let's go ahead and open it. And obviously let's, because especially since this is a liquid spill, let's uh, take out the very connection. Let's see the other side. Okay, battery's out. Now let's go ahead and see if there's any corrosion on this connector because it's the easiest place to look first. And we'll probably see a, a bunch of corrosion on the trackpad connection, I assume. Not here, but on the actual connection itself. And just with my eye, it looks, looks this does look very clean. I don't really see a problem here. But let's go ahead and we'll take up uh, the trackpad too. That fix somebody help you. Oh uh, yeah, you can bring it in. We're open till six o'clock today, and of uh, the store in Alexandria. If uh, I can give you the address if you need it, or it's online. Oh man, yeah. Hey, we we want to add to it, you know. So <laughs> yeah, so it's a uh, four six one three. Uh, Duke Street, Alexandria. Sweet E, sweet E as an elephant. Okay, yeah, we're open until six o'clock today. Just come on by. If you drop it today, uh, we'll we'll confirm everything and give you a call by most likely tomorrow. And since we do have uh, the screen and everything in stock, if that's what needs to be done, it'll get done uh, by either tomorrow or Thursday latest. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Just come on by. So well, this is going to lift just like that. I don't have to worry about too much. Now let's go ahead and see if there's anything obvious. You can smell it. <laughs> I see a little bit of corrosion actually here. And I do see some action on the trackpad and the trackpad cable itself. Uh, let's go ahead on the microscope and take a look. Let's go ahead and we can see that it is corroded. Pretty obvious. There's a trackpad damage there. And I'm not sure if we take this up. It's a little bit of adhesion over here. Okay. Look at that. See that cable is a bit corroded. Let me see the trackpad. It's 
the corroded there. There's a little component underneath it. And we also see that our cable is damaged. Cable doesn't look to be too bad, even though it's one of the little traces there on the right is a little bit more impacted. It doesn't look absolutely terrible. But never want to take chances, especially just for like cables, because cables are easily replaceable. No point of really working too much on a cable itself unless you really can't find the part. But these are basic parts, and we can always find these parts, especially that we have them in our store. I'm going to go ahead and check that out for this A1708 um, trackpad. This is the silver one, and let me see. The nice difference you can tell between the two, where there's usually square edges, there's a circle edge here on each side. See that? How it kind of goes, it's more of a circle. And some of them will have a square edge, which aren't going to be compatible with each other. So if we do that, I mean, this doesn't look to be too bad. I could maybe just actually clean it and see. So it doesn't look that bad. But we never want the customer coming back or even to put a risk on it. So I got our new one that we have. And you see the difference in how much better it looks and what it's supposed to look like. Okay, this is what it's supposed to look like. It's a lot cleaner. Definitely. The liquid spill there. And this is what we're going to replace it with. And I believe it'll work. So let's just put it back on and it should go ahead and work. Now, what we could do is I have, here's the new one. And I'm going to go replace it. So, you're asking yourself, well, why am I just replacing Why don't we just fix the other one, right? Isn't that the whole point? Yes, you're right. We could fix it, and we could worry about, um, well, we could fix it, but we wouldn't be able to tell you about our store. Our graphics store, and to see how nice and easy it really is to do it. We have tutorials on some of the older models to do this. Uh, if you want to check out our other video too, we do talk about it a little bit more. But this one's a little bit more interesting because it's not that the trackpad isn't working. It's a fact that the keyboard isn't working and the trackpad is working. So that's a little bit more unique situation than, than before. And that's why we think it will make a little bit more informative for you guys to do that. That we saw the damage there. And... We didn't see any damage that was on the keyboard connection. We didn't see any damage that was anywhere else just around it. But we did notice that this is the first thing we want to look at, and it's the first thing we want to go ahead and try. And this is the fun model, too, because you can see this is where this is soldered here. The USB-C has actually been, uh, USB-C connection is actually soldered here. And this is the one that does have uh, that removable sort of hard drive that's replaceable, I guess. In its own way we've done lots of videos we talked about this one this is a very special model that goes for itself okay now I'm gonna plug this in all right and then plug in the battery connection. That's always should be the last thing. So we don't want to short anything, do we? I mean, the last thing we want to do, we have a turning on machine and it doesn't turn on when we plug everything back in. So don't want that. Okay, there's our power connection and let's get our data connection. Okay, so now we should be able to get this thing to turn on. No, it doesn't need a charger. No, go no figure. Safari mode. I don't want to show Gus's name. I gotta go to Safari mode so I can show that the keyboard. So I can test that the keyboard's going to work. All right, so we don't really care about this for now, but you can see we're typing and it's working. And why is that? Well, we did see the corrosion was on the trackpad and that the trackpad connection on a lot of these models, not just this model, keyboard and the trackpad are connected. 
and if one works, the other one can't sometimes. And if the if the cable's bad, a lot of times that means if the cable's bad for the trackpad, usually it means that the keyboard won't work, and vice vice versa. For you guys, I was actually hoping more that um, this was going to be more of a repair for the MacBook keyboard we've done before, but this is a special one, and I don't know if we're going to be able to order this one because it, it is Japanese as well as it has some uh, English letters as well. But I was hoping that this would have been a cool fix for the ultrasonic to dip it in there and to real fix the issue in case it did crow underneath that. But this is about the customer and we did make sure that we didn't have to go through that because there's always a chance too that you can um, damage the, the LEDs on it or um, sometimes it just doesn't work. And there's always a risk because it's an ultrasonic, it's liquid and it's a lot of heat and there's a, and there's a chance that it can actually damage some of these parts. But I thought we were going to make another one but if you want to go ahead and check that out we do have a video on that for a very similar model. I think we did the A1706 we did we're dipping a keyboard because we weren't able to get a keyboard from before and we're going to see if that was going to do the repair instead. But this actually did work. Replace the trackpad to fix the actual keyboard issue we were having but it is actually instead more of a trackpad issue because any of these models, if you ever check out the older MacBook Airs, if you ever see the, um, the 1706, the 1708s, which is these ones, the 2016s and above, 1398s, the 1502s, all the 2013, and all the new Retina ones. The trackpad connection is, is related to actually the keyboard connection. Sometimes if one of them doesn't work, that means both of them aren't working. A lot of the ones from the 1502 uh, do have, 2015 do have a cable that goes over the battery. And a lot of problems, there's a lot of problems with that one. Sometimes the keyboard does not work, or sometimes you'll just have uh, the keyboard and trackpad just not work at all. And we covered that in our in our previous videos. So if you want to go ahead and check that out, and this is a very similar situation. If we weren't able to find these parts or we didn't have them in stock, then we would do more of a repair on it. But we do have a repair on our other previous videos. If you want to go ahead and check that out on the 1706, 1708 repairing the trackpad cable where we did that. Um, I think we might have even made a trace or made a jumper to it. So if you want to go ahead and check it out, you want to go down the rabbit hole with those repairs, you can do that as well. Otherwise, since we do have them in stock now, you can definitely order them. But anyways, guys, hope you guys are watching this video. If you did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Please subscribe for more content. Check out our store. We have lots of cool MacBook parts. We have, especially for this one, the A1708 uh, trackpad with trackpad cable. We do have that. If you're interested, go ahead and check it out. And we guys, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.